Hi everyone, welcome. We're here now at Gillette Stadium. This is week three, the Patriots and the Bills. Last week you saw us, we were, uh, Hector and I were reporting from the new Meadowlands Stadium, a very disappointing 28-14 loss. We're here pre-game, a couple hours before the game, hour and a half before the game. Uh, got a couple things I want to talk about. Buffalo Bills are here. Uh, basically, I think I call them the Boston, uh, the Baltimore Orioles of the NFL, meaning thank you after last week. What do you think of the Bills, Hector? So I think the Bills last year presented a couple of tough passes. I know the record's awful. I know the fact that they lost their the road to the Patriots by 18 points ago. It has the Patriots for the game. I happen to like this Bills team. I happen to like what they did against them today. Well, I disagree. I, uh, I'm not saying. I think the Bills are tough. And remarkably, over the last, I think it's 13 in a row, 12 in a row, uh, they've been a lot of close games. I just think the Patriots, I don't think they're as bad as we saw them in the second half. Uh, I, I, I don't, I'm not saying they're a great team. I think this is just what the doctor ordered, more for the defense. I think the defense is going to be aggressive. I think the defense is probably going to play a good game. Doesn't mean they're good. They're going to play a good game. And I think Brady then feeds off of the defense and has a big game. I, I really see the Patriots messing with these I guys. Mean, that's a great point. You know, they could play a good game, but are they good? What is this one worth today? You know, this is only Buffalo. One of the top, you know, one of the worst franchises in the league right now. Top of the game. Shut down CJ Spiller. Shut down Marshawn Lynch. The deal with Ryan Fitzpatrick. So I would like to see them make a great statement. Why a great statement? I think, I think that's a key here. They have to show that yeah, there's some power behind all the back talk. We've heard about this defense. We're getting better. We're young. Let's see a good, solid effort. Get it done without the performance. Really, though, isn't this a game? We can't win game. Even if they destroy Buffalo, we're all going to point to next week's game. We definitely have a lot of that tendency to fall where it's the fact where, yeah, we have to win. Exactly. I'm saying it. You know, 23 career stars, not a great player by any stretch of the imagination. Get get your work done, get it in, win, or we move on to the next part of that, that heavy part of the schedule. If I ask you to look, let's look at one Patriot. Player today and see how he does. Let's let's make that more important than the result because I think they're going to win. Who would you say? If I, I make the two Ravens fights in Toronto. They have one player in the inside linebackers have to get them against the front. And the focus is on that. They're going to try and run inside and out against you. They both of those guys. They both have 12 solo tackles. I expect to build some other guys. Those guys are going to make plays at the line of scrimmage. They can't catch blocks like they have in the last couple of weeks. They have to step up and attack and make those games one and two as opposed to three, four, five. All right, well, that's it for now. Well, we're we're going to send go back to the game. Hector's going to blog live. He's going to cover it live. If you have any comments, Hector's the best, best in the game of what he does here. And that's getting back, answering questions you might have during the game. We'll be here watching from the press box. We will be here, Hector and I, probably on the field after the game with a quick summary of what happened, a quick look at uh, maybe the stats in next week's game. We'll see you in a while.